This is Lance Sagman coming at you live from Las Vegas, Nevada, using the Google Plus On Air Hangout. So today, or rather tonight, I'm going to show you real quickly um, how to find Windows 8 apps in your, well, Windows 8 uh, tablet or uh, desktop laptop, however you have your flavor of Windows 8. Um, most people have been complaining lately. Oh, I can't access this. Oh, I can't do this. I can't find my apps. How do I get to them? Well, stop your crying, babies, because we are here to help you. Now, obviously, you see we're in the Metro screen, um, and that's quite apparent, right? You see the nice, uh, crisp, colorful icons? Indeed. Um, now, mind you, on your screen, you're not going to see these unless you're a developer, so do not worry. Now, if you want to easily find your apps very quickly, whether you downloaded them or that are possibly with the system, very simply, just tell Windows 8 what you want. You could speak it, sure, but we're not going to do that. We're going to simply use your keyboard because most people are worried, oh, Windows 8 is a tablet OS, and yeah, it's incredible on it. But we're going to show you real quick how to access those icons here in this Google Plus On Air Hangout. Uh, and uh, tell your friends they can find it if you're not here for the live broadcast. Uh, Windows 8, find apps fast. Indeed, we also made a video um, using our regular encoding method. But today, we're well, rather tonight, we promised we would do a Google Plus Hangout On Air live um, with everybody. So, we are using the screen share feature in Google+, Plus. it's completely free, just go to plus.google.com, it's just as simple as that. So, let's get on with it, shall we? So, let's say we're looking for, well, I don't know, the command prompt. If you're someone like me, we access this quite often, right? Well, as you see, I don't have an open screen, uh, rather, I don't have a keyboard open, and then the mouse is there. I can't hide that, especially in the format we're doing, right? So, let's say we want it. Simply just type CMD. Whoa, right? As you see, command prompt came up under CMD. Now, mind you, again, developer edition, you're not going to see these. You're going to strictly see the command prompt. Now, as you see, CMD, you might be asking, oh, well, I want to find uh, my other uh, applications. Or, you know what, forget it. Why should I have to search? Show me all my icons. I don't want to have to go into, um, you know, the desktop mode. Well, guess what? You do not have to. Simply X out the CMD and voila. And here you go. Here's all your apps that you download or that come with uh, Windows by default. And then you have your system items as well right here. Very simple. Now, most people who are saying, oh, it's a tablet OS, right? Well, you have this scroll right here. Now, you can cry about it and say, oh, I shouldn't have to scroll. Well, guess what? If you have a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of uh, programs installed and shortcuts in your start menu, guess what? You're already doing that, except you're scrolling vertically uh, opposed to horizontally. Now, on a tablet, I can just slide my finger going across. Um, but it can detect, obviously, that I'm utilizing a mouse. So it brings up this scroll right here, right? So I can scroll back and forth. And on, let's be honest here, people. These are bright, rich icons, easier to read, opposed to the Windows 7 um, pop-up in the Start menu. And much like when you press Start on the Windows uh, 7 OS, you have that search box uh, where you, if you just start typing automatically, it's already uh, defaulted to that little uh, search text box uh, field, right? So here you have all your uh, items that you could possibly need. You want your uh, notepad? Simply select notepad, and what do you know? It took you into your desktop mode, which everybody is crying, oh, I don't want all Metro. Well, obviously, you're not in all Metro, are you? Uh, this looks non-Metro to me, right? Yes. Indeed. Um, and as you see, I'm using a mouse. And now I'm currently connected to my Windows 8 uh, tablet. Uh, this is not a laptop or desktop that I am on slash connected to. Um, and as, if you question, you know, is he really truly remotely connected? Well, let's just slide up. I'm also using the Windows, uh, oh, I guess it's not showing on here. It's cut off. But nonetheless, I assure you, um, I am connected uh, through. A remote session. 
But real quick, while this is a Google Plus Hangout, I can do a little bit more in this, uh, opposed to my regular videos where I simply show you something and that's kind of it. And since this is a Google Plus on-air Hangout, and we do have some people uh, tuned in, uh, let's play around just a little bit. And maybe this way, anybody else who wants to do our Google Plus Hangout, well, maybe next time you'll join us. And I hope you do, and maybe we'll do it once a week, twice a week, three times a week, who knows, for this extra added content, right? So let's real quick uh, do a secret feature here. It's only secret because people haven't used their brains to, you know, search around in Windows 8. Plus, there's not a video yet to tell people how to do it and whatnot. You know, they may even go the route of Apple where before you can even get into, I forget which mode on uh, uh, OS X, I think Lion it was, uh, in order to get to it, you had to actually take a test. Apple made you take a test, which in this case, maybe they need to do. Uh, Microsoft, that is. But anyways, let's uh, quick and find our charms. Oh, where's the charm? Where's the charm? Well, simply go over to where you would normally uh, want to show your desktop. Now, it's the same in Windows 7. Uh, you go behind uh, uh, your time, right? And you have this little box right here. Oh, what do you know? The charm showed up. And I didn't have to get my mouse crazy, you know, like, oh, gosh, it's not displaying. Well, you know, that's good. And I'll tell you why. Because if I have apps that are full screen in uh, desktop or even Metro, I do not want them to get interrupted because my fingers slipped to the side and maybe I didn't realize I was holding the tablet or whatever, whatever the case may be, or my mouse accidentally moved there. So now you have to be quite precise to get the charms to open so it does not interrupt uh, what you were previously doing. Now, how do we know and ensure this? Well, quite simple. Uh, simply go over here. Again, like I said, you have what? Oh, where you'd normally be able to go straight to your desktop if you had clutter. And it does hide, so you got to be kind of quick about it, which is nice. Um, and now, as you see, it pops up my time. It's 10.24 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Uh, you can go into your settings, devices, share something, search. Um, or you can go back to the Metro screen, which is your start menu. So you select it. Now, if you were looking for programs, obviously you would be here, right? Now, the other thing is, if you notice in the Metro mode, if you look at the all the way to the bottom right, um, keep looking at it, right? There's nothing there, correct? We just barely touch our mouse, boom, right here, we go over this, and now we have our charms once again. Now, we are making another video in the Tech Me Show uh, showing you how to put the administrative icons right on your Metro screen, right? Um, the reason for this is, well, it's a neat feature, and if you're administrative, you know, we want to show people, hey, you aren't going to be slowed down. Trust me. There are ways to make Windows 8 great for uh, business. You just have to use your brain. I know most of us techs haven't had to do that in the Windows environment for quite a while. We could float along and so be it, right? Well, in this case, we'll go ahead and show you right in this Google Plus on-air Hangout. And I can't stress it enough because I'm so excited about it. And this may be, depending on the quality of the Hangout, if it does our full 1080 uh, or even 720, I will be quite happy. And maybe from now on, we'll just do Google Plus on air Hangouts, um, which will be extra content, live, ask us questions, boom, come on in. Okay, so right now... What we're going to do is teach you real quick, so you don't have to view our other video, but if you'd like to, right on to that too. So, all right, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's go up, open our charms, right? Go to settings, simply go to tiles, and what do you know, show administrative tools? Well, yeah, let's do it. And go back, or you know what, let's say you didn't even want to push all these buttons. Just simply click over, and there you go. You have all these... Uh, uh, business tool services that you as a tech guy are going to need or would normally need, right? You have your defrag, which eh, you might not need, and your other uh, performance things, system config, computer management, all things that are important as a tech guy, right? Local security policy, resource monitor, extremely important. Windows firewall with advanced security. Yeah, I mean, come on, guys, you can't beat it. How much harder do you want it to be? <laughs> Well, guess what? It's not hard at all, is it? 
And if you notice, you get that horizontal slide. So even if you're not on a tablet, you just move your mouse. And again, it's horizontal, not vertical. It, and you got bigger icons. It's much easier to see and understand. You know, come on, people, stop crying. Uh, and no, I do not work for Microsoft. I am not sponsored by Microsoft nor Google, um, unless you consider my Google ads, uh, which <laughs> I don't make really anything off of that, unfortunately. But you know what? I like making the videos, and uh, apparently other people I've talked to they say if you're going in it for the money, you're going to lose. And, well, thank God I'm not going in it for the money. Um, but anyways, let's say we click services. Now, it takes you to the desktop, right? It's not Metro. Everybody's whining, oh, God, things are going to take me to the Metro screen. It's going to be so hard. Well, guess what? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, things are taking you where? Oh, to the desktop. Uh, so I don't know what the whining is about. Uh, now, the cool thing about well, Windows 8 is you can slide, whoop, and you're out of there, even without the tablet. So to close an app, that was quite simple, right? Right. So you have your, you know, power tools, basically, uh, or they call them admin tools, but nonetheless, they are here, and guess what? They're not Metro, so you guys can stop crying um, because it was getting old hearing about it. And this is proof right here live at 10.28 p.m. on June 4th, 2012. We're showing you that the lies are exactly that, lies. And you can close screens how? Simply slide, or I can put it to the side. But we're going to go ahead, close it down. And guess what, guys? It's that time to say goodbye. And I hope you follow us on at Tech Me Show on Twitter, or you can follow me personally, Lance Seidman, at Twitter, which you would type in. At sign, Lance, L-A-N-C-E, Seidman, S-E-I-D-M-A-N, as noted up here with my little icon, right? Because it is uh, connected to a, a Hotmail account we created um, for Strictly the Tech Me Show. And uh, you're more than welcome to email it. I'll never get it unless it shows up on the mail here if I ever set it up, uh, which might be another video. But tell me what videos you guys would like. We can't create videos that you want unless you tell us. Just today, we had someone smart enough to tell us, hey, why don't you make a, a Windows Phone 7 uh, developer video regarding uh, the list picker control? Well, guess what? We're going to make it because why? He or she asked. And that's exactly what we do here at the Tech Me Show. We're making and doing what you want. Yes, we get a say. Do we want to make it or not? 99.9%, .9%, I guarantee you, we want to make it. If it's for you, we want to make you happy, right? Why? Well, you'll come back and see our other videos. And that's good because we're creating content for you. And that's the most important thing to me personally. I'm not sure about our other guys, but I'm pretty sure they feel the same way. Anyways, this is Lance Seidman signing off. And uh, I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, it was great to have you tonight. And if you were in the Google Plus on-air hangout, it was nice to have you here. Uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit more uh, before you know we close this down. But this is going to be the end of the broadcast. Um, again, if you guys want to be here for the broadcast, well, guess what? You can be if you just simply, well, follow us on Google+. You can find us, Tech Me Show. Why not, people? Why not? And uh, like I said, maybe we'll do this all throughout the week. Maybe we won't. I don't know. You guys are in control of that. But for a while, maybe we'll do the Google Plus on-air Hangouts. Again, it's completely free. I highly recommend you try it. Uh, it's incredibly simple. And we're actually running it out of Internet Explorer right now. Uh, not Firefox, not Opera, not Chrome. Right out of Internet Explorer. And I hate to tell you, it's running perfect. So, Microsoft's doing something good. Google's doing something good. This is great for all of us people, and thank you so much again for tuning in. And uh, again, this is not a sponsored video by Google or Microsoft. Uh, this is a Tech Me video. You can find it at youtube.com forward slash Tech Me, T E C H M E, show, S H O W. Again, all one word, and on YouTube and on Twitter, you can find us. Thank you once again for tuning in to 
the Tech Me Show.